In this video, I'm going to give you some email marketing tips that will help you convert leads into clients. I wanna talk about two completely different email marketing campaigns. And when they work together, that's when the magic happens. When a lead comes in, what do most agents do most of the time? They may reach out and statistics show most leads I just not follow it up with, never mind follow it up with properly. The ones that agents do reach out to, what do they typically do? What do we typically see? They may attempt to make a phone call if there's a phone number and that's where it stops. That's where most agents give up. If that lead doesn't end up returning that phone call, which most of the time doesn't happen, agents will then turn to email and they will send out an email saying something along the lines of, hey, just wanted to reach out to you. I noticed you were on my website and you wanted some more information about XYZ. How can I help? Or here's the information. You know what I mean? That strategy, if you wanted to call it a strategy, is really not that effective. Put yourself in the shoes of the lead. You went on somebody's website, you filled in the contact information because you wanted something, then you got that something and you thought, great, this should help me achieve the end result that I was looking for. It's really getting bright in here. Ah, whatever, let's keep moving. Okay, so the lead gets this thing that you sent them, the reason why they went on your website, and now they've got this thing that should help them in their journey of buying or selling a home. They're not really expecting anything else to happen. So when they get a phone call from you, they may may be confused, and then they're probably like, well, you know what, whatever, I got this thing, Um, let's move on with my journey of buying and selling my home. And then a day or two later, they get an email, and now they're reading this email going, wow, this, this agent, really wants me as a client, but I really don't want anything to do with them. I'm still in my research phase. I'm not gonna bother returning the email. And that's generally what happens most of the time. The follow-up system just isn't designed for that lead to take action. Does that make sense? So let's talk about the two different strategies. And these two strategies are deployed after the email comes in. So now you've got your lead magnet, which I discussed in a previous video, and that lead magnet is obviously designed for a specific need for a specific avatar. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe I'll post a link somewhere to that video. Maybe wait till the end of this video or maybe pop up here somewhere. And you as a real estate agent now have this lead, and of course you don't know anything about this lead. Are they a hot lead? Are they a dud? Are they just trolling for information? What's up with that lead? And that's where the two different types of email marketing campaigns come in. So let's discuss them. The first campaign is designed to separate the now or the hot leads from the rest. The second email marketing campaign or system is designed to follow up with future leads that are not ready to buy or sell now. Let's pick them both apart. Now, I have to do this now? Okay, I do create videos designed to help real estate agents grow their business. So if you want any of my future videos, subscribe. Don't forget the bell. Okay, let's move on. So the first email marketing campaign is called the movie trailer. The reason it's called the movie trailer is because it's designed to separate the hot leads from the future leads. Why did I call it the movie trailer? because it does what a movie trailer would do. If you think of a movie trailer, what is the reason for it? The makers of that movie obviously want to show you a trailer so you take action. So you get your butt off the couch and into the movie theater to pay for and watch the movie. Does that make sense? The movie trailer in your business is designed to do the exact same thing. It is designed to get people or buyers and sellers that are ready to buy now to take action, to actually reach out to you and say, yeah, I'm ready. I'm glad you reached out. Does that make sense? That's the outcome for a buyer or seller to take action. Now let's talk about the duration. Just like a movie trailer, it has a duration. Once the movie is out of the theaters, they stop running the commercials or the trailers. Well, in your real estate business, you have to do the same thing. When a lead comes in, you have to separate them. And if they're not ready to take action now, 
There is no point to bombard them with trailers. And sometimes we get variations of movie trailers for the same movie. And you can do the exact same thing in your real estate business. The one that I like to use is a five day approach and I'll explain what those are in future videos. I just wanted to take the opportunity in this video to explain that there are two different types, what they're designed for and how they work. So the email marketing follow-up system is really there for five days. If a buyer or seller doesn't take action within the five days, that movie trailer stops and now they move on to the second system, which I will explain. And it, essentially it's a series of five emails that you send out to your lead designed for them to take action. All five emails are different. They're designed to do five different things. The biggest thing is to grow your know, like, and trust factor really fast. So when somebody reads your emails, they get to know you really quick. And if somebody gets to know you and they have a need for you right now, chances are they will reach out to you. The emails are designed to capture their attention and to get them to take action. That's it. Does that make sense? Let me know what you think of the movie trailer campaign. Just put that in your comments below in the comments section. Now let's move on to the second email marketing campaign. That is called the sitcom sequence. This is an ongoing sequence without an end. It just never ends. It's just like a sitcom. And we sit down once a week to watch a sitcom, unless you're binging on Netflix, which I tend to do because I have no patience for once a week. But essentially, it's designed to keep that relationship going, to nurture your lead. If they didn't take action with your first campaign, that's okay. And let's face it, most people won't. They want information, but it doesn't mean they're ready to buy or sell now. So this sequence is designed to keep that relationship going. And those emails could be anything from once a day to once a week. Keep a schedule, whatever's most comfortable for you. I would definitely not wait longer than once per week. You just want to let the people know that you're still here and you're always providing value in every single one of your emails. Now, the thing is, they all don't have to be real estate related because sometimes people just want to know who you are. They want to get into your personal life. We all stalk people online. We don't want to know what they just do professionally. We want to know who that person actually is. So these emails can really vary. You can talk about your life, what you did on your last vacation. And yes, you also do have to provide real estate value. Does that make sense? Now it's an ongoing relationship designed to say, hey, here I am whenever the time is right for you. And if somebody has been watching your videos for a year, well, you've been get, giving them a year's worth of value. When it's time for them to buy and sell, and let's say their aunt or uncle is not a real estate agent, do you think they'll reach out to you? Uh, mm-hmm. Coffee. Coffee time. My wife just got me a coffee and that's awesome. Where were we? Okay, so both of these email campaigns are meant to be run at the same time. The movie trailer one obviously only runs for the first five days after the email comes in. And that is designed for a hot lead to take action and to separate the ones that are not ready to take action. But also at the same time, you're running your sitcom, se bleh, sitcom sequence, <laughs> I can't say it, sitcom sequence email campaigns. What? Okay, anyway, and that is an, an ongoing thing to continue building that know, like, and trust factor. And at the end of every single email is called the super signature. Dean Jackson is the creator of that. I didn't create that. I just research what the best marketers are doing and I help you implement these things into your business. So at the end of every single email, you have that signature that reads PS, if you're ready to take this action, click here. If you're ready to take that action, click here. And of course, the PS signature lines would redirect them back to another landing page for another lead magnet, just so you can see and keep track of what they're doing. Which, by the way, you should be able to digitally, digitally, I can't talk today, digitally keep track of what people are doing, not just on your website, but with your emails. And that is all up to your CRM 
And this video is not about CRM, but it's super important to have the right one to keep track of what people are doing. And then it will take action or tell your prospect what to do based on what they've done in the past. Does that make sense? Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that today. What did you think of both email marketing campaigns? Are you using them? Are they new to you? I really want your feedback. I would love to know. Put your comments down in the comments section below. And that's it for today. Bob, any last, uh, any last words? All right. If you like this video, click like on the video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the ring dingy. Wow. I can't talk today. The bell that way YouTube will notify you of every time. I just can't talk today. That way YouTube will notify you every time I release a video. That's it. All right. See you tomorrow.